Well, it was definitely an interesting weekend. Especially for Barf Arnold. Let's just get into news. The Conservation Club wants you to be better at recycling. Watch this short video on the do's and don'ts of recycling. My name is Maddie. I'm Jillian. And we're with Conservation Club to tell you the do's and don'ts of recycling. Don't bag your recycling. Instead, dump it into a container. Next, don't recycle any soil containers. Make sure they are clean and don't have any food in them. If the container is dirty, make sure you rinse it out completely before recycling. Clean. Remember a few things that you can't recycle. Electronics, food, and clothing are all things that cannot be recycled. Instead, here are things that you can recycle. Cardboard, aluminum, paper, glass, and plastic. The better we are at recycling, the cheaper and more efficient recycling can be. Millers. All library books were due last Friday. Please make sure to get your books in soon. Students will be charged a replacement fee and will receive daily emails if they do not turn their books in. Miller's finals are coming up. Friday's final will be block seven. Tuesday's final will be blocks two and four. Wednesday will be block six and one. And finally, Thursday will be blocks three and five. Good luck. Mark your calendars, Miller's, because the coffee mill will be open from Tuesday, May 30th to Thursday, June 1st before final exams from eight to 8.35. A new episode of Around the County is out now. Learn about a cat cafe in Fishers called The Smitten Kitten, and see what's going on behind the scenes of the NHS Percussion Band. All this and more is out on our YouTube channel at NHS News. Attention American Idol fans, 1 a.m. Uh, Ian Tong was crowned the winner of the 21st season of American Idol after his emotional performance honoring his late father. Congratulations to both Megan Danielle and Colin Stowe, who placed second and third respectively. Now, let's toss it over to meetings. The Mayor's Youth Council is accepting applications for the 2023-2024 school year until June 1st. Please send complete applications to cityofnoblesville.org or email Aubrey Griffin at her school email. Let's hurl it over to sports. I don't need any flashbacks. So Mason, how was your trip to Kings Island? You know, it was pretty awesome, and like, <coughs> unlike some people, I didn't throw up. Well, I think we learned that sophomores shouldn't be going to senior skip day. Yeah, I think we should have already known that. Let's get into sports. The Maryland's baseball team destroyed Lafayette last Friday with a score of 15 to four. Shout out to Bryce Riggs, Trevor Corbett, and Aiden Reynolds for getting the most runs. The boys play again tonight at Fishers at 7:45. Your boys track team placed third at sectionals last week with 90 points. Senior Chris Degney won both the 100 and 200 meter dash, while the Millers 4x1 relay of Chris Degney, Darrell Coleman, Cameron Wilson, and Sidney Weaver Jr. won the relay and tied the school record for the event with a time of 44.55. 18 Millers advanced to tomorrow's regional at Lafayette Jeff High School, which begins at 6. Good luck, Millers. Congratulations to the Noza Millers Unified Track Team on winning three championships, HGC, County, and sectionals. The next meet is the IHS A8 Regionals away at Bedford North Lawrence High School starting at 11. Good luck Millers on your state run. The Miller girls rugby team won 7-12 this past Monday. Shout out to senior Kylie Robbins and Waverly Hutchins for a great game. The girls will be playing for the state title in their division on May 27th against, HSC, against the HSC Mud Sox. Good luck girls, let's check out Pro Sports. Bron Bron's heading to Cancun as the Lakers were swept by the Nuggets 4-0. LeBron had a near 40-point triple-double, but it was not enough as Nikola Jokic had a 30-point triple-double to lead the Nuggets in the win. The Lakers lost by two as LeBron had his final shot blocked. The Nuggets will be heading to the NBA Finals while people now question if LeBron will continue playing for the Lakers or end his career after that. Now off to some sports tonight. Tonight is an important one for the boys' baseball team and the girls' softball team. The boys start off IHSAA sectionals playoff with a game against Fishers High School at Carmel Baseball Fields. They start at 7.45 p.m. The girls softball team competes in the IHSAA sectional semifinals at home starting at 8 p.m. Well, that was a fantastic sports segment. We want to give a really big shout out to Barf Arnold on audio today. Turns out he doesn't always mess up stuff. Not always. Peace out, Millers. <laughs>